So, um, what's happening is, Dad is putting in the new queen bees that we ordered. Um, uh, I don't really know how he's going to do it. Um, so what, where are you putting the queen bees? Put them between a couple of these frames. Okay. Wait, I thought you, aren't you, aren't you going to divide it? Like, um... We've already, we've already taken some frames out of this hive and this hive. Okay. That were full of brood. Um, some frames on this hive that were full of brood and honey and lots of bees. And if you get in here, you can see there's lots of bees in there. And we did not transfer the queen. So Daddy ordered some new, new queens. So these bees have been... Shoot. The queen is the one with the green spot. Yeah. These bees have been... Um, a queenless for about 12 hours. And now we're going to... I poked a hole in the fondant. We're going to put this bee down in here between these frames. Let's see what happens when we put the queen in here. See if these bees do anything. Why don't you come here with the camera, Kayla? You might want to go around. And the other bees are trying to feed her. You can't see it from here, but I can see them sticking their tongues through the screen trying to feed the queen, which is an indication that these bees know that they're queenless and need a new one. So I'm going to put this queen right in here between these two frames squeeze it a little bit so it doesn't slip down. One more frame here. Let's see. Um, and then I'm going to leave this hive for several days. Then I'll check to make sure that they've eaten through and released the queen, and then she'll start laying eggs because she's uh, already mated. And I will do the same with this second hive, which I will also test to make sure that it's queenless. How do you get that brick up here? It's already up here. Oh, it's good. Wait, so this hive's queenless too? Yes, yeah, so I began, again, I, I took these hives out yesterday, uh, these, I'm sorry, these um, frames out yesterday with the expectation with the expectation that um, or the knowledge that the queen was not in there and we wanted to get them used to the fact that they did not have a queen. Why would you want them to get used to the fact that they didn't have a queen? Um, because then they will more readily accept this queen. Uh, I'm going to take this frame out just because... How do you know they haven't it. already started to create a new queen? They may have, um, but this one will uh, supersede that if, that were the, if that's the case. Because she's grown? Now you can see that they've really started to like attack that, try to get the queen bee out. So I'm assuming that they haven't made the, um, their, uh, a new queen bee of their own. Uh, so like the other one, they probably know that they're queenless. And at this rate, she'll probably be out in a couple hours, maybe, maybe less. Probably. I think that's not right. Though. A couple days, I think. A couple days? Really? How, could, how long could it take to get a bee out of some wax? Yeah, so they're very happy to have her in there. Okay, so I'm going to move this frame over so they start creating more brood there eventually. And then we'll come back here in a couple of days. I'll leave this frame here. Because those bees will eventually re-enter the hive. I want to show you something also, Caitlin. Okay. So this is the hive that we took these bees out of, and it's a little sick. 
What happened, do you think? Um, this, this queen, I'll show you side. We have a queen that is not doing terribly well. She is not, she's not proven to be terribly effective. So are, they, are her daughters going to kill her? It looks that way. So I'm going to show you the queen, first of all, if I can find her. What? The, right there. The big goopy stuff that's on the wax paper. Oh, that's a, that's a homemade, that's a homemade pollen patty. It's basically a, a protein source for them. Uh, and they need protein to... This is Daddy's seven in one tool. He loves it. It isn't like the big fancy stuff that you have to pay like 70 bucks for, for bees. You have to pay 70 bucks, but I just happen to have this. He's exaggerating. If you take a picture of my forehead, you can see where I am. Um, look at dung yesterday. Well, oh my god! <laughs> okay, so right on the nose. So let's see. So here's what I want to show you. See that down in the bottom? Oh, right there, yeah. That's a queen cell that they are building in the in the hopes of superseding their existing queen. Uh, Can you see that okay? That yep, one on the very bottom, the, tube, the tube one? Yeah, we only have five minutes left in it. That's okay. So... Dad, they're getting angry. So we assume that they're going to... So we, so we assume that they are going to supersede her. So what I'll do eventually, I've got another queen coming, and I will requeen this hive, and I will take the, any queen cells and the existing queen and put them into a third hive. Can you move my tool? All right, I'm going to move away from here. Okay. So that I don't get stung. Anyway, so that's it. So um, we will move that. Or we will. Um, what will happen then is we will have started out with two hives. We will have purchased three queens. We will have two brand new hives. We will requeen this one, so we still only have four, and then we will take the queen cell and the existing queen and put her in a fifth hive. And hopefully, that queen cell, those queen cells, will supersede that queen, and that queen, that uh, hive, will get uh, healthy again. And um, we'll have five hives now out of two initial hives plus three queens, which will be nice. And uh, we'll, we'll monitor them and see how they're doing and how they go. Thanks for watching the DCBs and not no. DC, I mean DC Bees DC, television, DC, TV. DC Honeybees. DC Honeybees TV. Yes. Not TCBs okay, so television. Let's try it again. All right. Go ahead. Thanks for watching DC Honeybees TV.